All right, this is Pat, KA1CDE. I'm going to show you uh, how I run the iPad with the remote Kenwood 2000. I have the Kenwood software on a computer right here. You can see the, the software running in the background. It's not running, it's just enabled in the background. The, the Kenwood 2000 is actually shut off right now, but I'm going to, I'm going to show you how you'd connect up here with the iPad uh, and uh, see how it sounds. So we'd come over here, and the first thing we'd do was connect up would connect up the uh, audio so you have an audio link so you'd connect up Skype to Skype and uh, make the call and uh, w when I do this here I actually uh, one of the things I actually do is have my Skype on the other end actually you know answer the phone without me being there the next thing I do is you need to see the screen so you'd go to the uh, log me in and all uh, you can use team viewer and uh, We'll uh, go over to this screen, and uh, it's going to hook up. It'll have some of my stuff running in the background here, and I'll just have to, I'll have to close it all down. Uh, there we go. Uh, dismiss. Continue. Okay, there's some things that gives you some uh, options to do, but this is this is the re screen we just looked at. It's running remote though, you know. So this is my iPad right here. And just in the background, so you can see, that's the actual actual monitor of the computer. Okay, and the Kenwood is hooked up to it. So we're going to come over here, and the first thing you got a virtual mouse right here. Let's just open this up a little bit. We'll make the we'll make the uh, the, the Kenwood here fit the screen a little better. And uh, you see the you see the virtual mouse. I'll take it over, and I have it connect. So if I had it not connected, the light would be black. And when you connect, it's a yellow light signaling that it's the computer is connected to the 2000 and once it's connect I'd power it on and uh, you'll see the radio come to life and you can actually hear the you can actually hear the audio coming out of this here uh, out of the Kenwood here so we'll come over here we'll turn on that audio a little bit just to not to interfere okay so that's the Kenwood uh, uh, running remote on the iPad. If you want to change frequencies, you bring your cursor right underneath the uh, the frequency you want to change. One tap down changes it down. And uh, another tap, and if the, you get, click on the right hand mouse on the top up here, on the button up top, it makes it go up in frequency like that. Okay, if I wanted to come over and uh, bring it over to the send button and uh, hit a send, well, you can watch the output power here. Uh, KA1 CDE testing and you see me test it there we got the attenuator if you wanted to run that uh, uh, so we'll shut that off the preamp so you got the preamp there so that's the Kenwood TS2000 running remotely on the iPad now I have it hooked up to my Wi-Fi network in the house is what I do uh, and uh, but these iPads, you can, these, these iPads, you still hear it running in the background. These iPads here, you can run, uh, uh, you know, via the wireless service, just like a cell phone or something like that. You can run it like that. I also, I run mine remotely on my iPhone using the exact same technique that I just showed you here. But I wanted to show you on the iPad, just in case. I also can access 2 meters through it in 440, have the antennas hooked up to the 2000. And you access access it the same way, so you can see what your SWR is. You have the meter built in. You can see what your ALC. You can see your output power, your frequency. Uh, you, you can see it all pretty much, and you can run it remote. If you wanted to carry the iPad here uh, with you uh, on a trip and uh, pay thirty dollars a month or so for wireless service, you could do it. Any places wireless service, uh, you know, cell phone service, you could use the iPad and uh, use it as a radio or Sometimes when I go on vacation, most places have a Wi-Fi set up. Bring this along, and I can, uh, when I want to uh, play on the radio, I can get out here and uh, run my radio station remote. Anyways, wanted to kind of show it to you, let you see what you thought. Maybe somebody may want to set something like that up themselves. Uh, it's kind of fun. And, uh, and even when I'm driving along in the car, and I'm using my iPhone exactly the same way you see the iPad being made, I'm running my full half-wave antenna system on the lower bands, like 75 meters or 160 or 40. 
and I'm running it like that and I'm controlling it all as I drive along uh, this the exact same technique as you've seen here except this is just a little bit bigger display and actually I'm using the iPhone to uh, video record it so uh, other people can see in case they're interested may want to try it themselves if you do good luck it's not very hard you go Skype to Skype you hook up your uh, your iPad Skype to your computer Skype and then you uh, either use TeamViewer or log me in they're both free programs gives you remote desktop operation you got full control. Have fun.